Yo, what's up boys, and welcome back to another Daisy standalone video. As you guys would have seen from the title on this one, we are going to be talking about the big, highly anticipated 0.61 patch for Daisy standalone, which just hit the experimental branch a few days ago. Unfortunately, you can't go and play it right now, but in those few days, or few hours actually, which was out, um, people got their hands on the assets, and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. In fact, to give you guys a bit of a structure of the video, we're going to be starting off with showing you 0.61's features. We're then going to be talking about the assets which are found inside 0.61, and then we're going to have a bit of a rant about Daisy, the future of it, and blah de blah de blah, because despite me never playing the game on my channel, I do have some very strong opinions on it, and um, I don't know, I, it's, it's something which I want to incorporate into my channel in the future. So to start off talking about features, also just so you know, the background footage is actually my first ever Daisy standalone video, which was an actual Daisy standalone edited video, and hopefully you can tell from that video, which came out in December 2013, you should be able to tell the difference between Daisy these days and Daisy back then. There might have only been one update of the entire year so far for Daisy standalone, which was a 0.6 patch, and 0.61 is going to be the second, even though it's almost the end of the year. Um, but still, it's coming along, and I do have um, hopes for its future, I guess. But anyway, talk about the features. So I'm just going to go through them very quickly, but we have got a new server browser. We have the queue system, so you will no longer have to spam enter, which is good. I feel like Armour 3 should have that one as well. Um, on top of that, we've got the wolves, which can be added in 0.61. We have real-time lighting, which means uh, dark indoor environments. Instead of flares going through walls, there's actually flares which will... Uh, you'll see the light hit the pro appropriate areas, and also when you shoot at nighttime, you'll see the actual muzzle flash go around your character, which is really cool. So some nice, realistic lighting. We've got the rework of all of the sounds. It uses the same sound systems armor-free, so pretty much every sound in all the weapons, I'm pretty sure, sound different. They just sound more realistic. Distance sounds a lot nicer. There's going to be some improvements to the network synchronization, meaning the game should just be less laggy as a whole. And finally, we have dynamic spawning of infected, meaning they'll spawn in, spawn out, etc, etc, a bit more realistically. Meaning hopefully we can have some higher numbers of zombies, which in case you guys didn't know, can now jump over walls which is something new. Anyway, to show you guys the really cool stuff, just keep in mind a lot of this stuff is either in the files, or some of it's not even in the files, it's just been shown off by the devs, but we have the plane, which is not even in the files right now, but yeah, there's gonna be a plane relatively soon, not in 0.61, don't worry. I did also have another video showing off this, but there was a bunch of new assets, but we have the RPG, which, uh, like I said, we've seen in the 0 0.6 video, which I covered, which, again, it's in files, but it's not in the game. But it's cool to have some really, really awesome weaponry. Like, there's so many weapons in Daisy right now, and actually it's kind of surprising how many there is comparing to, like, another game, which claimed to be survival, H1Z1. There's, like, what, two assault rifles in that? But, uh, yeah, on top of the RPG, you've also got the law, which uh, is also in the files, which is looking pretty awesome. We have the RPG rocket itself. We have the scout sniper rifle, which we looked at a few videos ago, or in that 0 0.6 video as well. And on top of that, we've got the magazine for it. This weapon over here, you guys probably won't recognize, but as a, you know, seasoned veteran of uh, video games, uh, this is actually the OTS-14, the Russian weaponry piece. And you might notice it's looking a bit fucking weird. That's because it has no trigger, which you can see is actually a separate attachment. We've also got the grip for the OTS, I'm assuming. We have the magazine. We have also some kind of grenade launcher. So again, adding to the weapon variation, like I said, this stuff's not going to be added for a while, but we've got two launchers and a grenade launcher. Like, you know, all assets really well done, ready to be placed in the game and rigged up and shit, which is going to take time, but it does mean there's a lot of assets just ready to be added. It's not like we're having an issue with that. It's just a case of coding them, coding them in and shit like that. We have a scope, which I'm assuming is going to attach to most of the rifles, uh, like the uh, Winchester, the uh, scout rifle we'd have seen a second ago. This, I'm assuming, is a silencer, another silencer, I think. We have the mini Uzi with a foldable stock on it. I think there is another weapon in the game right now which has a foldable stock, or at least a few weapons do have detachable stocks. Maybe the Red Knight has a foldable one, I'm not sure. But either way, hopefully that should mean it should be able to fit in your backpack, no problem. We have the mag, which I'm assuming is for the mini Uzi. It looks like it might fit in. We have another suppressor. I don't know what the fuck that is. And then we have the sedan, which is if you guys look at the Trello, you will of course know that this is the... Sarka 120 sedan. So another sedan added into the game, obviously along with the plane. Like there's, you know, again, a bunch of assets in terms of vehicles which are ready to be added in. We've also seen in the 0.6 patch and also a few you'll see down here as well, the base building things. But I'll show you guys in a sec, but there's just so much like assets which just need to be added in. Like, um, yeah, anyway. Next up we've got the bicycle. Finally, a fucking bicycle's added into the game, the most rudimentary thing we need in a game like this. Um, a 
really, really basic vehicle, which I thought was going to be one of the first vehicles added in, but if it's a custom new model, it's got some springs in the seat, looking 10 out of 10. We've got some kind of battery, we have another angle of some kind of battery, we have some new pieces of clothing, a t-shirt, a hunting vest, a military helmet, as if we don't have enough of those, some sexy ass looking gloves, a face mask, which I thought was already in the game, but I guess I've just seen it from um, the... Uh, files before we have a new police building, which is really cool I don't like I think you guys can agree and they're actually showing off some of this in the as well They're showing off like some Shinaris buildings with ivy on them I just don't like the way the buildings look you can't break the glass on them and again this building It looks post-apocalyptic in the sense that was glass broken, but other than that it doesn't really look post-apocalyptic But if it's a cool building when you go inside you've got the little um, Desk when you first come in to say it's sad dude. Uh, we have the prison tunnel, which I'm assuming you can open and close and lock a few different floors and some more broken glass rooms uh, You've got a uh, Industrial building which I think is actually near Tizzy or at least an asset I'll show you guys in a few seconds is from Tizzy But yeah, this building is looking pretty cool as well. We have a roof and then finally we have the radar dish as well, well not finally, but this thing I'm pretty sure I've seen in Tizzy in some kind of screenshot or something So that's gonna be added to Tizzy, which is military base in the northwest side of the map Which is completely new on the standalone and also there was a bunch of map changes in this new update Hence that obviously being in Tizzy, but that's kind of obvious as always new map changes And also I said before that there hasn't been there's only been two updates this year I mean there is like slow updates and small fixes and shit. But I mean like big patches if we have got some more interiors of some buildings, another building which you will recognize actually from um, the Daisy mod, but it looks like we've now added a interior for this one. A small uh, little office building kind of thing, a small tower which I'm assuming you can climb up on. And then we've got some new zombie models, some more new zombie models, a big button, don't know what the fuck that is. Some control panel thing and then these final assets I don't know why the fuck they're even in the game but correct me if I'm wrong I said this on the reddit but weren't these from armor 2 and if it were from armor 2 were they made from a daisy mod or not I really don't know but I don't know you can tell if they look out of date but these are from armor 2 I think I don't know let me know I'm really really curious so that's everything which has been on the daisycommunity.r website. If you guys want to check that out for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. So that's stuff which is actually in the 0.61 files. The stuff at the start, like the plane and a few things here and there might have been from the Trello. But just, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Like people are saying, oh yeah, planes are going to be in 0.61. No, they aren't. Either way, we've got some new church interiors as well, which are from the Trello. And we've also got a new utility truck. So there's, there's so much stuff, so many assets. I just don't know how the fuck we're gonna be added into the game. Or not added into the game, but how, how long it's gonna fucking take, because there's too many assets. I mean, it's not such thing as too many assets, but you know what I'm saying. They all look very high quality regardless, and I'm excited to see them in the game. There's a lot of um, room for growth there when things are ready to be rigged right into the game. Anyway, the final part of this video, like I said, is gonna be the rant, which I wanted to talk a bit about Daisy and shit like that. I mean, it's kind of obvious. And also at the end, I've got something a bit weird as well, which is completely unrelated, but we'll leave that till then. But either way, the game has been out for almost three years now. It came out originally in December 2013 in Early Access. Of course, it is still in Early Access now. Beta release is no one year of original planned release of, I think, early 2016. 2016 is almost over now, and the beta is still not out. I don't know how development's been kind of slow. Obviously, it's a big task to take under to make a game like this, and there's been no game which has came anywhere close to the survival experiences you can have in Daisy. Like, it just hasn't. Like, it takes a long time to make all these assets and the uh, rig them in, add all these attachments, make the map not suck dick. Like, Shinaris is a good map. Um, make modding tools, which are hopefully going to be in in 2017, and all that kind of shit. Like, it takes a long time to make this, and Daisy, even though everyone hates on it and says it sucks dick and how slow the development is and how it could kill, should kill itself. Um, I don't know, it's got some really cool things going for it and once you've added all this stuff in and added in the new player movement system or the new player model, not player model, but like the new animation system and, and shit like that with a new infusion engine eventually coming, I guess. Um, I don't know, Daisy could be a really, really, really good game. Like, I hope we can get some player cap increase. Right now, I think the player cap uh, max is 60, which isn't bad, but, you know, 100 or 150 people on Shinaris would be awesome. It's a big map and you really need to... Um, make the most out of that. Zombie hordes and zombies actually being a decent threat in DayZ still isn't really a thing. Now that they can climb over walls or small buildings, I guess, like fences and shit, uh, that is slowly but surely coming along, but uh, it is gonna be a decent amount of time until that happens. But yeah, something which you've got to think about is Bohemia as a whole. Obviously, the people who work on R3 are different than people who work on DayZ, but both of these games have amassed a crazy amount of sales on Steam. In fact, I'll have the Steam Spy stats on the screen right now. But uh, what does this mean in terms of my little rant? Well, it means they've got a shit ton of money and they're gonna make a shit ton of money 
even more shit tons of money if the game doesn't suck dick. So I, I believe in Bohemia. In fact, I'm pretty sure Daisy's got more sales than armor. Yeah, it does. It's got a million more sales than armor. Like, why? No flame, but why? Like, armor is a fucking, it's a good game and it works really well. It runs like shit, which Daisy doesn't, which is cool, thanks to the 0.6 patch. But, um, yeah. I don't know how Daisy's got a million more sales, even though it's incredibly still right now. I'll give you guys some stats on the screen as well of how it's grown over the years, as well over three years it's been out. It's definitely not at its high peak right now. People are simply waiting for a patch which blows their socks off, which 0.61 isn't necessarily going to do, but it is a move in the right direction to make Daisy a really fun and all-encompassing survival video game. Bohemia aren't a shit company. They don't have a track record of fucking over fans, at least from what I know. So... Yeah, hopefully it'll be good in about 10 years. If we, we've got 500 launchers, which are going to be added in very soon. We've got some new zombie models, we've got a fucking plane, 500 different fucking cars. I don't know, I'm incredibly excited and um, even though, like I said, I haven't played it much on my channel, I, I do want to start playing it again. People have demanded me to play Daisy RP again. I don't play it just because I just, I just don't, start, I don't enjoy DZ right now. There's no flexibility in the admin tools. On a server which wants to be RP, you can't set spawns, you can't set fucking uh, the time of day you can't do any kind of admining you can't um you know you can't spawn in stuff you can't you can't do anything you can't mod it at all but once that shit is all good then really i think the modern community is going to do a lot for this video game you know 3.5 million people own it on steam according to steam spy you know i might even had a free weekend so i think the stats are actually a bit fucked up because of that so maybe it'll have a bit more or a bit less i don't really know which way but, um, yeah, Armor Free really is made by the mods. Like, the shit which is popular on Twitch, the life mods, Exile, all that kind of shit. None of it is really used in Bohemia's vanilla assets. Some of it is, and some of it uses the Armor 2 assets with Cup and shit like that with Exile servers. But, for the most part, most of the popular stuff which people like to watch on YouTube and Twitch is made by the modding community. And, even though all these things aren't in the game right now, I don't know, I feel like even if we weren't in the game and it was just modding tools and everything worked about the game, you know, like the... Uh, the player, the new player model, which we're adding, so that way it's not as clunky and shit like that. Um, if that shit all just worked and it focused on that, which obviously was different people to make our assets and different people to code engine shit and things like that, so it's not exactly the most like logical thing to be able to do kind of thing, just make like a core game work, because there's, there's artists who work for Bohemia who would have guessed from all these assets I've shown you today. Um, but yeah, if you made that shit, then I feel like modern community could just kind of do the rest of it. But I get what they're doing, you know. It's good, and there's, like I said, some really high quality assets here, and it's only a matter of a few years until it'll be added in to Early Access Daisy Yeah, free. Either way, looking at the 0 0.6 video, which I've shown you guys before, there's an MT49, the PKM, there's, there's so many fucking weapons. Like, half these things you wouldn't even, even seen before if you didn't see that other video from me. And uh, like someone said to me just a second ago, he said, well, the slow progress has kept you in a job, allowing you to regurgitate these videos every few months. Luckily, I'm not a Daisy YouTuber. I don't do that, but I did make a video on this a few months ago on 0 0.6 and said, yo, look at all these cool assets. None of them are in game right now, but yo, look at these cool assets. So... I'm gonna keep doing that and getting a big boner over it and seeing how cool it could be. But is it gonna be cool? I don't know. I believe in Bohemia. Like I said, they've got a decent track record. But who the fuck knows, dude? Daisy Sandon's pretty goddamn dead right now. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video here. As usual, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Um, in fact, I'm not really wrapping it up because I do have an unrelated thing which I'm gonna ask you guys right now, which has nothing to do with the video at all. But I want a sample size, which is probably not going to be very big because this is the end of the video, but I've got a question for you guys which you can leave in the comment section below. So you guys are watching this YouTube video right now, how many people watch Twitch and YouTube? How many people just watch YouTube and how many people just watch Twitch but somehow ended up on this video anyway? Sorry, not Twitch and YouTube, but watch my Twitch and my YouTube. I guess it, it can be a bit more general term, but I am kind of curious to know how many people overlap because I don't know if people watch both, like most people watch both. I'm kind of curious, so let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, as usual, don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Yes. I did uh, snort some crack before this video. Bye. Okay, if I, if I pass out as well, it was a rotten banana that did it.